Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Where in the last episode we attended Herbology class, we helped the fellow student out and we learned a new spell, Expelliarmus. This one. Excellent. Um, so in today's episode I was looking a little bit at quests that we have and um, I think we've been neglecting the main quests a little bit because um, the next one is potions class and requirement for that is level 4 and we are already level 10. Uh, so I think it is time to head to potions. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. As I was saying, it is time for us to head over to Potions class and continue a little bit with the main story. I do hope we get to get our broom pretty soon so we can fly around. Or maybe even a mount so we can walk around on the mount and fly around on the mount. Um, but yeah, let's head to Potions class. Wait. All right, we waited. Now let's begin. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, Excellent. can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Interesting. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Right. I think that if I were to go to Hogwarts, Potions would not be one of my favorite subjects, and that guy, Professor Sharp, I don't think I'd like him very much. The way he acts. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the root. Fine job brewing your first Wigan World potion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. 
I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. But Gareth like Weasley. With potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be Whooper in Sharp's web. office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll yeah, get you sure. the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I'm always up for a little mischief. A well prepared witch. Mongrel fur. Okay. Uh, I forgot what I need. Ashwinger axe. Ooh, and a whoop of feather. Okay, cool. Ashwinger axe. Those look like eggs. Excellent. And you have a lot of ingredients. What's in the chest? 36 gold. Right. Should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right. A little bit of a uh, Fred and George uh, breed. What do you call that? The precursor? Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat in. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate One loss of your eyebrows. Wow. All right. So brew potions from unlock recipes at the potion station. Recipes and ingredients can be purchased from select shops. Ingredients may also be grown and found in the wild. The Wiganweld potion at aids in healing. Okay. Uh, the Endurance potion, a potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Okay. Select that one. Uh, potion. Yeah. Okay. Yields one bottle. I don't have to do anything for it. Excellent. It brews itself. Again with the real-time mechanics though, I don't really like that mechanic in games. Especially once you get to things like 2 hours, 3 hours, 12 hours, maybe even more than that. Right, um, so what does it cost to make this? Horklum juice? Didney leaves. Okay. Good to know. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Professor Sharp must wait. It's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Grab it, dog. What happened? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping <laughs> Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Can't fool him. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was 
skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Yeah, I really wouldn't like him in real life. I think each of us has had enough excitement Delia. for one day. Class is dismissed. Quest complete. Potions class. Excellent. And we are level 11 already. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Mm, I like explosions. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising oh, we've got Ravenclaw. mail. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Ollivander. Okay, okay. Excellent. Um, what do we have in our inventory that is new? Nothing. Do we have we have a new quest? Yeah, Ollivander's heirloom. Um, for the next episode or two, I think I'm gonna focus a little bit on uh, main quests. So yeah, let's go see Mr. Ollivander in Hogsmeade because level five is the required level, and we're already close to level twelve. So I think we need to catch up a little bit. So let's go back to Hogsmeade. Oh, my robes are going to reek. Um, let's see if we can not quick travel. We have one over here. Let's go. Don't have to walk all the way. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Right. So I know I prefer just walking around, but. You know, if your goal is from one side of the world map to the other side, fast travel is a nice uh, shortcut. So, let's begin! Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Sure. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. Apple my great aunt wand. suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as Jack an assistant Daw? here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw. Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. I can imagine. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes and a bright mind like I yours can understand that. is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special, but not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. 
But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return, and that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the mm. better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. How much you want to bet we're going to come across his ghosts? I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Well, I haven't done anything for you yet. Revelio. Something pinged. I have something to spin. Alright, investigate the Owlery. Do I need to go all the way back to Hogwarts? Couldn't you have written this to me in a letter? Because I was in Hogwarts, yeah, and now I need to go all the way back to Hogwarts. Great. Ah, uh, the Owlery. Yeah, I have nothing nearby. Not that I can see, anyway. Ah, this might be pretty close. Oh, that is a cliff. Don't want to go taking a tumble down there. Right, Owlery. Stuff up in the tower. Chest down Statues here. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the elves. Upstairs. Let's go. Ooh, hello. Don't hey guys. Know me elves. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? There is a statue. I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Mm, nothing. Oh. Jackdaw statue. Here's a welcome surprise. Some gold. Nothing. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Nothing. Nothing. No statues here. Oh, this will do nicely. Hogwarts owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Revelio. Oh, what's that? This one is equipped. Incendio. Or maybe we need to put the statues over. Empty perches. There. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Alright, I have placed one. I need one, two, three, four more. Five, six more. Rebellion. Excellent. Revelio. Accio. Okay, I need to go further up. Hmm. Bird 
birds aren't afraid of heights, perhaps I should look a bit higher. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Mm, nothing. Hmm, I'd best keep looking. No statues here. Hmm, nothing. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. What's happening? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh boy. <laughs> Going up. There is his ghost. I told you. And he is deheaded. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So... You stole a wand, and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves, and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for... sentimental reasons. But as you can see... I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a... Well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. All right. Revelio. There's something else up here. Who? Oh, that's another student. I was like, who are you? What are you doing? But this is still the Aulery. So you, um, yeah, that's the one. And then we have map with floating candles. More of these bridge, archway, forbidden forest. Okay. Hmm, a map. It 
doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Rebellion. Anything else up here while we are here? No? Okay. Oh, no, that's not the way I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go. Alright, meet Richard Jackdaw at the Forbidden Forest. Alright, so we are going to the Forbidden Forest. Excellent. I do believe I have a flu flame somewhere near the Forbidden Forest. So... Yeah, I have one over here. So, let's travel. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Pavelio. More gold. Excellent. We are still pretty far away from where we need to meet Jack. Not Jack. Jack Dog. Uh, Richard checked on. Ooh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> that is a difficult one. Can I change? Spells in the middle of a fight. So Lumos don't really need it. Reparo. Disillusionment don't really need it. Okay. More things to collect. Nice looking bridge. Sixty-one gold. Excellent. Oh, uh, wait. Probably need to do this at night. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here I am, as good as my word. Hello, Richard. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I, shall lead I you have as a far stinking as I can, suspicious. But I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? As I said, I have a stinking suspicious. A suspicion Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? That this is a Indeed. trap. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, I don't trust you for one Surprising second. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. I don't trust you for one second at all. Hmm. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. 
probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Nothing to do now but keep going. Ooh, what's this? Dangerous, danger, turn back over there. <laughs> right, right. Oh, there is a lake. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Still don't trust him. Not even for a second. Oh, looks like something lives over here. Buffskin! Oh, hello. Buffskins! Hey, Buffskins! Okay, we can't collect them, unfortunately. Ooh, what's this? Centaurs. Hello? Do we want to go off the path? Probably won't talk to me anyway. Oh! No, no. I want to finish the quest. Alright. No straying off the path too far then. Lots of fireflies. Excellent. Rebellion. Oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Hmm, there is a bird bath, if I see correctly. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Whisper the passwords. I don't trust you for a second, mate. But I don't have much else that I can do. Intramuros. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, I am going to replace that one with that one. And then that one with that one. Aren't you a little far from us? Mm. Uh, you'd eventually lead us to one No, I need Expelliarmus instead of Incendio. Oh, I have that one. Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. Right, was that a coincidence or was that supposed to happen? Jackdaw's tomb. That sounds ominous. Find the missing pages. Okay. I wonder how big this place is. Horklump juice. Okay, interesting. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. 
Um, da, 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 da. we need this one, I think. Then... I need to light all three before they time out on me. Okay. One. Two, Ooh, that's really very nice looking. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. More moonstone. Something up here that we can use. 13 gold. Excellent. Are those things something I can collect? No. Okay. Right. Let's enter through the door. What do we have here? Revelio. That doesn't look friendly. Neither does that. I and wonder have a if any of my web. spells will help me through this. Incendio. Yeah, burn it away. Wow. The, the tapping on the right trigger, I'm not a big fan of it. it, it after a couple of taps, it starts hurting my wrists. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Golden trimmed school room. 13 gold. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Yeah, why not? Why not, eh? Uh, so how do I get off? Ah, oh, we can just walk down. Okay. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So this is the way to go. There is some moonstone. Oh, damn it. Yeah. 
Right, another door. Incendio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Hmm. Ah, there it is. I can't reach it, of course. Ah, it doesn't need to be incendio. It can be any spell. Interesting. Ah, there's the next part of the bridge. I'm going to take a guess and say we need one more part because in video games everything comes in threes. And we probably need to defeat another layer of spiders. Rebellion. And indeed I see something glowing up there. We have another chest. An untouched Morph chest. Barrett's. That door wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Yeah, I still don't trust him for a single second. Going forwards or backwards? We are getting closer, but we are getting going backwards, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't go there. Another one of those. Lots of loot to find. I just thought Jack Dorr would have been interested in this loot. There's yeah, no yeah. Of him. You made it pretty obvious that he is lying to us about one thing or another. He has clearly not uh, explored this cave whatsoever. Richard Jackson left this was something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh, oh those are baby spiders. Ooh.
Right, I'm getting a little bit better at this. Untouched chest. Chapter Perfect vest uniform. In search of this cave. Yeah, the getting better might have something to do with the fact that I have better equipment. Incendio. Can't go through there, just so I have to go back. That's alright. I expected that with the four-way puzzle. Um, so that should be the way to go. There's another one. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Ah, they teleport. Damn, I forgot. Right. Hopefully we heal automatically. We seem to do... Don't want to use too many health potions. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Daw would have been interested yeah. in this loot. But there's no sign of him. It's pretty obvious it's Rebellion. odd. That is where we were, I think. Nope, can't go here. Uh, okay. Where do we need to go? Over here, I think. No, okay, we need to walk around it. Okay. Through the water. The bridge, it's almost complete. More oh. spiders. It's horrible what the head of the jump. Big guy.
Master, I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Right, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse, I suppose. Revelio. So there is one, there is two, where is number three? Revelio. Only two? Accio. I'll need to look around for the symbol. No. Huh. There has to be a threat. Okay, let's look around a little bit. Man, this episode is getting pretty long, by the way. Oh, there it is. Found it! How am I supposed to get there? And jump over there. Can't see it from here. Oh, annoying. Ah, there it is. So. Alright. Three times the charm. Bridge complete. Alright, but there was a chest down here which I real quick want to take a look at. And Wiganweld potion. Excellent, I could use that. I just used two. So here we are at the top of the bridge. I think the missing pages are on the other side of the bridge. As would be. Uh, Jack Daw's betrayal if and when we get there so but that is something that we are going to do in the next episode so I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one bye bye